if you think about from human activities, there are quite a few things we do in our everyday lives that are contributing to this problem that, you know, before humans were around, weren't pumping out massive amounts of methane. And so examples of that could be agriculture. You know, maybe it's, uh, you know, uh, farming uh, rice or something that releases large amounts of methane. Maybe it is. Wait, wait, why would rice release methane like so the, from the soil? So the way that we do that farming, you know, flooding and, and causing the, the methanogens to, you know, convert some of that, those substrates into into uh, methane or, you know, cows and, and agriculture involving, you know, these large ruminant animals. This is a portion of the the human impact on the kind of glo global changing climate. It, it's maybe not the largest portion, but it's a portion that there is like, significant enough. There right? might be small things that we can do that that farmers can do that that make small changes that actually really end up you know, affecting how much methane we're releasing. So maybe that's you know, so-called low, low hanging fruit that we could do okay. as opposed to, you know, massively transitioning, you know, the way we you live our lives in the form of, you know, power generation or vehicles or something like that. But, you know, it, it, it could have a big impact.